X-Rambo seems to load entirely this time. A new item has been unlocked. There we are, on the right side we have Zulu Zelda, on the left side we have Team Down 5. Everyone seemed to load this time properly and I see Zulu Zelda already rushing towards bot lane. Uh, are they actually trying to dive into the tower at this early stage of the game? That would be very interesting to see. No, they're actually going for the watchtower from bottom to have a possibility on engaging. At the same time, Dawn 5 is going deep. <laughs> is going deep. <laughs> no, not funny. They're going deep into the enemy territory, trying to set up an ambush, but the Zulu Zelda is not nearby, so they are sneaking around. Maybe they're trying to go for a gank here in mid lane. Let's see how this is going to work out. Striker is taking the Zulu bot lane. Very nice to see. I expect some good gameplay on bot lane and mid lane now uh, is unleashing their forces. Decima, Vaikure Blitz versus Flatline Blitz and Rhino top lane, Warhead versus Rio. I think that Warhead should be able to push out Rio. However, let's see how Striker is doing against Rio. I think that Striker should technically have an easier time to push him out. Now a little engage in mid lane tactics, a little bit out of position, getting damage. Then again, he's Rhino, he doesn't. Yeah. They're taking Watchtower on bot lane at the same time. Striker is still not pushing. He's just focused on engaging. Warhead, if I see it correctly, is staying behind. He's not trying to overextend. He doesn't want to give Blitz opportunity to get into his face to hurt him. But at the same time, he's paying by being uh, the uh, artillery drone being taken down. And of course, the artillery drone is doing less XP on lane than when it's the taken down, so this should be a little bit of a lead. There it is, Striker is engaging Blitz very nicely. He's fighting two versus one, he's trying to get the kill, has to retreat, however, Blitz is surviving mid lane. We have nobody dead currently, nobody died from either teams. Bot lane immediately getting assisted by tactics on Rhino. They need to get those artillery drones fast. Very beautiful movement there, directly into the range of artillery drones. So the artillery drone isn't locking on into the tower. Uh, team wise, XP wise, uh, now even um, uh, Zolo Zelda a little bit up ahead. No, actually, no, no, uh, it's equal. Let's say it's equal. Top Warhead is, as I suspected, pressuring Rio very hard and pushing him actually out of. Uh, getting pushing out his enemy, uh, pushing out his enemy out of the lane. Uh, now Blitz coming on top to try to assist, but he has to retreat. Uh, Rio was porting back as he is. his med kit was on cooldown. He was pressured, so he had to retreat not to give away a kill. X Rambo with his amazing sustain on striker has no problems to harass efficiently Warhead and to get ahead in, um, in uh, damage in trades, in good trades, in advantage trades for him. Top Watchtower is controlled still by uh, Zolo Zelda. He's holding it, Blitz is just standing there. Every line has someone on top of it, so he actually doesn't need to be around. Rhino is taking now down artillery drone. At the same time, Blitz and Rio are going for the left artillery drone. So we have at the same time a taking down of artillery drone. Why it is not pressuring any 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 the lane he's uh, falling back again i think it's a good strategy as long as you're aggressive against the enemy sentinel because being next to your tower is of course efficient then again any shots he's doing is pressuring the uh, immediately into the enemy tower both drones were not captured but both teams both teams trying to get ahead in xp um it's working out so far so i don't have a judgment call on this rhino will engage now on rio from behind is this a successful gang uh, rio will have possibility to jump away but their positioning is amazing they're pressuring he will survive however and now we're having decima and blitz coming in they chose to come in from the smoke not from directly trying to pressure them from mid lane to be safer rio still getting damage he took his med kit but his med kit won't heal him up uh, entirely and let's see what kind of item he is actually taking he took as a second uh, the custom item executioner blade which does more they are now going down the sima is going down four down five down five <laughs> the sima from down five is going down and the artillery drone 
is being taken by Solo Zelda. They can't really follow up as they have no vision. Watchtower is controlled by Solo Zelda, so they're doing a good thing in pressuring right now. Artillery Zone is not capable of logging into the tower, so it's getting pressured now. But the Galaxy Rumble is going in hard. Spikeuda out of position, trying to get out of this death trap. Sadly, not being able. A lot of pressure now from Solo Zelda up and uh, down five. Let's see if they will be able to unleash. Uh, Atil John locked in on the tower. They're trying to get it down. No one, a little bit out of position, nearly getting take, taken down. Alle, Alle Venom is doing a lot of damage. The Sivas ulti goes down, defensive ulti, so they need to back off. This is the right decision. Rio is going to follow by Valkyrie ulti, but the execution isn't perfect as Team. Solo Zelda is managing to go out. Tactics is using his ultimate in the last second. Very good timing there. Tower got a lot of damage, but down five is pushing back, is holding back. Warhead should be able to be now very A aggressive against, against uh, Striker. He decides, however, to go for the Watchtower to get a little more map uh, awareness. Map control up and top lane with three Sentinels is trying to pressure Warhead, who is left alone. Uh, at the same time in the mid lane, Valkyrie is pushing back. She's an awesome uh, wave cleaner. Therefore, no problem there. Blitz is moving in. 45 seconds. Still drone is spawning. I believe he wants to go for a gank as Watchtower is in the hands of down 5. And of course, this gives... Oh, but now he's there is the engage and the slow and FSL has no chance in escaping this onslaught anymore. Even if a good, even a good place uh, root can't stop. Uh, him from dying to this gang. Until John is taken down immediately, bot lane is free to push into the tower. No reaction currently from down five. There should have been already a reaction, but they need to play more carefully. They're trying to make a play on top lane at the same time. Alan Venom needs to be careful not to get ganked. However, Blitz moves back, so only Rio is there, and I think Rio won't be able to take down a full health, um, full health uh, warhead at this point in time. Bot tower getting pressured significantly. Atil John still has a lot of health, shooting strongly with the support of Blitz and Striker. They shouldn't have much problem in escaping. Now the whole team, actually not the whole team, the whole team besides Warhead moved on bot lane, took the Watchtower into their hands and this was a very good play from Blitz moving from behind because as they saw that Watchtower is down and if you have Watchtower in control, yes, if you, you are kind of safe against gangs and he moved from the back to engage into them. It was amazing. So Resurrect currently, Resurrect uh, alone in mid lane currently and waiting, just pushing back, I guess, the lane. But of course, he won't be able to push significantly against the Valkyrie. But as long as there are no druids, no drones from the jungle, it is an easy way. Top lane is getting taken down by the combination of Warhead and Blitz again. I apologize that I was a little bit too late. I saw it too late, the gank going and I was focused on mid lane. Now, the Ryzerak is holding, however, the damage done by normal Druid isn't much against the tower, so he has all options. Now, Striker getting engaged by two, but uh, Rhino is going in, stunning the Seema's ulti. The Seema's actually ability is forcing them to reposition themselves. Now, Blitz is coming in. The Seema's ulti is going in. The Seema's ulti is maybe not the best place, but it allows him to move in a little bit in the front tactics in the last second. Uses his ultimate to survive. Good timing there again. Flatline ulti is going down to give his team the necessary edge. Rumbo is still fighting. They're two level ahead, so they can make a lot of play. Fessel is going down. Very beautiful. Engage. Beautiful movement as well. Blitz and uh, Warhead went down, getting annihilated by Zolo Zelda, and they are high fiving themselves in Nirvana saying it is awesome that we're in this tournament and we're playing against one of the top teams. Mid lane getting now pushed or now they're retreating actually only in uh, flatline is staying in mid lane. Bot lane is under pressure as the as Atri John is moving slowly towards towards uh, the, the tower and at the same time the down five can't really react to this as they see them all in mid lane now Rio is getting pressure but he is getting out I believe even his ultimate is up so he could have escaped easily but then of course it would be on Kuna. Mid lane now pressured with, with the tank drone bot lane pressured with the artillery drone so we have maximum 
four people in mid lane. This is something Zolo Zelda knows. And the Artillery is still shooting. Seth is shooting. Oh, not Seth. Good for down five. It's shooting on the minions and not on the tower. At the same time, actually, Zolo Zelda goes immediately for Drake. They know that the attention is split for down five. And they have now a good lead of two levels. A Drake, which is pushing through mid lane. It's a nine minutes, nine and 30 seconds minutes. Drake through mid lane, it's not the strongest, but with two level, one level actually at this time, uh, advantage in team level, I think this can be a very scary push, definitely mid tower, I see it falling down, down five, reacting accordingly to it, they're taking down tank drone immediately, but they're getting pressured from Blitz, who will be maybe not, no, he's not able, capable of taking down uh, Warhead, but the artillery drone, the tank drone was taken down, beautiful ulti, bye! Valkyrie with not enough damage, however, to kill it off. Tanktron is going now to support its bigger brother, the tank, the Drake. And the first T1 tower is going down. And now they are getting pressured into the tier 2 tower. Two levels difference again, they need to be very careful. I think uh, the Seema's ultimate needs to be used. Exactly, very good use of air. The Seema's ultimate now, they can engage, they can pressure. Flatline's ulti is the counter to keep his uh, team alive. Very good ult ultimate by Rio pressing. Zolo Zelda out, he actually survived. They got one kill on their side with a two level difference. It was an amazing play, but mid tower is getting a lot of damage. Drake is going down, however, faster than tier two mid tower, but the tier two tower is just uh, standing on a hair, basically being kept together with some duct tape. And Team Zolo Zelda knows, and they're trying to pressure it. So AoE from Flatline actually finished the tower off. Now Blitz. Still going in, still strong, they know they have a level advantage and they can pressure with a sustain which Flatline is actually providing. Blitz scores a double kill there. Very beautiful plates. Uh, I am amazed. Bot lane is the next target going down as well. It was already damaged and the base through getting down a tier 2 tower in mid lane is now breaking apart as well. Team Zolo Zelda, what, what did I say? I said in the beginning when I saw them play, they need to provide more aggression. Apparently they thought the same. And uh, we see since two, three games, we see an amazing uh, aggression and pressure rising from Team Zolo Zelda. I'm amazed how good uh, they're doing it. They're utilizing any advantage they're getting immediately for even a bigger advantage. Still two level ahead. Team down five has no time to catch up with the bungee effect. They're getting more XP right now, but it takes time, of course, to catch up. Still two level, level difference. Atil John is doing some damage. The shield is down. They're still fighting. Blitz is going down. Rio is going in with ulti, followed by uh, Valkyrie ulti. But the timings are a little bit off. There is a communication misunderstanding going there. Now they are free fall dropping Rio. The Sima and Blitz went down from down five. This tower won't be able to be protected. Flatman providing so much sustain to his team. And then they can tank the tower and be healed up again. This tower is going down. Two tier two tower are down currently. Four team down five. They are in trouble. Top lane is getting pressured by another artillery drone, which is weak, but still no defense there. They're going for the HQ. The HQ is dropping 75% at least, I believe, or maybe not because they're retreating. And I'm a liar. 79%. Come on, don't make me a liar here. And then again for team down five sake. Please pull back. 60% down. 50% down, we're losing now, one Warhead is down from Team Zolo Zelda. Team Zolo Zelda, however, still is growing strong, still going in, two level at different. They're trying to do as much damage as possible. Drake is back up in two minutes, so Our even HQ pushing them back now, it's, it's, there is no, no chance how down five can actually recover with a counter push or with a taking a big objective as the map is completely clear and uh, bots one artillery zone is respawning at this time but it's deep in enemy territory with uh, close by by a tower and strikers going directly for this objective tank drone is up but again not being able to be taken down by down five without taking huge risk uh, all towers still standing from zolo zelda zolo zelda is playing well but down five is definitely pushing back and i expect them to have one mis bigger mistake and they can come back very easily 
Drake is a good opportunity for doing this. Both drones are not taken. They want to keep the level advantage currently. Solo Zelda trying, starving them by XP, of course, until the drones are giving a little bit more. So now we have one level difference very soon. And the bungee effect is coming strong. So they're catching up a little bit still. However, one level difference. All towers are standing. So team down five is in a little bit of trouble warhead currently is the only sentinel defending top and they're waiting they want to make a team fight they want to get an advantage they're lurking for the moment blitz is going in a little bit but of course rhino not the best target for a blitz engage striker at the same time on bot then realizing that all oh, down five is on top immediately taking artillery john will retreat to his team if i'm uh, yes he is retreating to his team to bot lane currently under pressure by an artillery drone now down five what is the response they're taking top artillery drone but most likely solo zelda will see it coming will they take the drone yes they're taking the drone and trying maybe to make a split push from their own but they will have to defend against artillery drone on bot lane giving uh solo zelda all the possibility to take it down eight seconds till drake is up they need to know this this is amazing timing by solo zelda those boys know what they're doing Valkyrie is the right choice to defend bot lane against the artillery zone now Zero Zelda moving in onto Drake team down five needs to know that they're doing this and they need to move towards top lane Blitz very beautiful positioning he is actually defending he's giving his vision uh, he's giving vision to his team they can't follow up on top and Zero Zelda takes another Drake which will be very difficult to actually defend and uh, ah! This is, this is going to be hard to defend against. Zolo Zelda is keeping pressure on top lane. They have a artillery drone, if I saw it correctly. Yes, and pressuring on top lane. Taking down now, he's staying alive. Super Galaxy out of positioning. The Sima saves no one. He's barely staying alive, but he stays alive. He can regenerate. 50 seconds, 45 seconds down for Blitz currently. But still, Drake is moving through mid lane, two level ahead. Still, hopefully, they get now exactly the level up and they're only one level behind, so they have a chance to defend. They need to make a decision somewhere. Either they're going for Drake or they're going for the team fight. If they're going for Drake, they're losing top. If they're going for the team fight, they could lose base. What to do? Difficult decisions. The Drake is taking a lot of damage. Whole five team is trying to push at the same time. Top tower went down. There's nothing they can do now with the moving in Zolo Zelda, getting flanked, getting hammered hammered between Ambos and a very beautiful play by both teams. Zolo Zelda is on top of that play. I'm very curious to see how Zolo Zelda will uh, do in the finals. This was an amazing play.